Now I'm going to be playing Unlikely Friendship, Alliance number 28. The last alliance between Ents and Astari. The Ents have asked Astari to help them defeat the trolls at the conflict of the Karak. I'm going to be using the Grey Wanderer contract. You cannot have choose more than one starting hero. Set up. Search your deck for an attachment with a printed cost of one and put it into play. Then flip this card over. The first non-unique card you play each planning phase does not require a resource match. Action. Exhaust this card and raise your threat by one to choose two. Ready your starting hero, add two resources to your starting hero's resource pool, or heal three damage from your starting hero. And the hero we're choosing is Quick Beam, a 12 threat tactics hero. Two, four, one, five. Ent. Cannot have restricted attachments. Action. Deal two damage to quick beam to ready him. Limit once per phase. And uh, one cost attachment I'm choosing is Strider. While you control two or fewer Heroes, attached hero does not exhaust to commit to the quest. And while you control five or fewer characters, attached hero gets plus two willpower. One A. Grimbjorn's quest. Add the Karak to the staging area. Remove four unique troll cards and four copies of sack cards from the encounter deck, and set them aside out of play. Then shuffle one sack card per player into the encounter deck. So we got the trolls set aside out of play. We got the Carrick, mean the player card effects. Players cannot travel to the Carrick except through quest card effects. While the Carrick is in the, is the active location, troll enemies get plus one attack and plus one defense. And it's two threat. One B, seven quest points. After placing the seventh progress token, on Grimbjorn's quest, the Carrick becomes the active location. Discard the previous active location from play. And we have the sack card shuffled in. Draw our opening hand. Treebeard, Entrot, Treebeard, Resourceful, Gandalf, and a Power of Horthank. We'll keep this hand. I'm going to play a Resourceful. Put that on the Quick Beam. I raise our threat by one to get two resources. And I will quest for four against two. A frightened beast. We've got to raise our threat by the total threat of all cards in the staging area. That's going to be two. So we make two progress. Go to the 
next round. Ent mode. Well, this is going to be our first non-unique out of spear card. We look at the top five cards for any Ent characters. Put them in our hand. Booming Ent, Welling Hall Preserver, Skin Bark, Dingle Warrior. We're going to put in a tree beard. Raise our throw up by one, get two resources, and put in a booming ant. Now we're going to quest for four against two. Grimbjorn the Old. 2, 4, 3, 10, ally. Grimbury Orn the Old does not exhaust to defend against troll enemies. If Grimbury Orn the Old has eight or more resources tokens on him, he joins the first player as an ally. Action, spend one leadership resource to place that resource on Grimbury Orn the Old. So we have to wait till the location that says you may spend any type of resources as leadership resources. Well, you make two progress. Go to the next round. Resourceful. Let's spend another one to play a resourceful. A first, yeah. We're not going to play that yet. We're going to play a raise our threat by one and get two resources. And then spend three to get out a Welling Hall Preserver, and then spend one to get a Resourceful. And we're going to quest for four. Frightened Beast, we got to raise our threat by two. Out of Secrecy, we make two progress. Now we go to the next round. Welling Hall Reserver. We're going to spend one, two, three, and put out skin bark. Raise our threat by one and get two resources. And now we're going to quest for. Three. Riverland Flood. Request on successfully by one, and we'll travel to here. Go to the next round. Durningle Warrior. Put out a Durndingle Warrior for two. Raise our throw by one to get two resources. I'm going to press one, two, 
three, four, five. Hill troll. Press successfully by two. Now we need 12 to get rid of him. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we're going to engage this hill troll. Spend 2 and ready up the Durndingle Warrior. And block with the Durndingle Warrior, dealing it 1 damage. No shadow. And we take one damage. And now we're going to attack back for four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and it's destroyed. Go to the next round. Another end move. Play Ent Moot. Wandering Ent, Tree Beard. And we also heal up the damage. three and put down a, another welling hull preserver raise our threat by one to get two resources and we're going to quest for one two three four five against two Wogs, five against four, we quest successfully by one. Gonna engage the Wogs. We'll block with the Durningle Warrior. Defending player doesn't it doesn't count as defense. So destroyed. We'll attack back and destroy them. End move. Play another one. Beach bone. Wandering ant and a booming ant. Play a booming end. Put out another Durningle Warrior. Now we're going to quest. One, two, three, four, five against two. Muck Adder. We make two progress, so we go to the next stage. I had forgot to put out the stage one. Stage two, and this becomes the active location because we have seven progress. When revealed, put each unique troll card previously set aside into the staging area. And you can't win the game unless there's no troll enemies in play. All the trolls have the same stats, 
same engagement cost, same responses. This one, while it's engaged with you, all troll enemies get plus one defense. And this one engages you, you shuffle attack, you shuffle all sack copies into the deck. While this one's engaged, you get all troll enemies get plus one attack. And when this one attacks, all troll enemies gain Razor Threat by three. So the Muck Adder's engaging. And we'll have Morris, a uh, Lewis engage also. Actually, we don't need to have him. Why don't we have the Morris engage? This is attacking for two. We are going to spend two and ready up the Durndingle Warrior. Block with the Welling Hall Reserver. Remove one progress from the quest. There's no progress. We're going to block this with the Durndingle Warrior. And it's attacking as a troll. Remove two damage from, from it. There's no damage on it. Deal this one damage, and then we're for the response, and then it gets dealt another damage. Attacking back, we need 13, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This is destroyed, and then we're going to do two damage to Quick Beam, ready him up, and attack and destroy the Muck Adder. And then we go to the next round, heal up two. Timely aid. Well, we don't need that anymore. We're going to play a wandering ant. Now we're going to quest for one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Quest for eight against six. B pastors. So eight against seven. Make one progress. Now we're going to engage Stuart. Attacking for five. Block with the Durndingle Warrior. No shadow. No damage. We're going to attack back for four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, twenty. And he's destroyed. Raise our threat by one and heal up. Oh, we don't need that. We can get three resources or two resources. At the end of the round, we heal up one here and one here. Go to the next round. We're up to ten resources now. So 
going to put out a wander ant. And we'll put out a beach bone. Total of five in the staging area. We're going to quest for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. East bite. So I get six. So I make six progress that clears the carrick. I'm put one progress here. And we have to travel to the east bite. We're gonna engage Rupert. To shuffle all stacks in, but there's no stacks to shuffle in. And he's going to block it with Durndingle. Deal one damage, three extra defense, no shadow. And now we need 12, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Destroy. Go to the next round. This heals up and this heals up. Out of the wild. We'll spend three to play an out of the wild. I get to search the top five cards of the deck and add one worth no victory points to the victory display. I'll get rid of a Riverland Flood. Now we're going to quest. There's three in the staging area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The Gladden Fields. So make six progress. That clears this. We'll travel to the bee pasture. Now we're going to engage Lewis. Block with the Nurningle Warrior. Defending doesn't count as defense, so it's destroyed. We raise our threat by three. Now we attack back for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and Lewis is destroyed. And there's a win. There's, there's no troll enemies left in play. So this shows you how you can win this game when you can pick off one troll at a time. So they don't all engage you at once. And when you have a army built up of ants, how they can be unstoppable. So you Hope you enjoyed watching and learned some tricks. And have a great day, and I'll see you in the next alliance.